Hey guys, thanks for checking out uh, Family Aquaponics, one of my few channels. Real quick, I'm just gonna do an update, but I just came out here and the table's flooding. So let's how see how it all works real fast. How does it run through? How does it run through with your dirty face? <laughs> <laughs> um, water's coming in. I raised up the water a little bit. You can see now the water level comes right up to the top. Um, since I'm dropping seeds in, I don't have to worry about my plants coming to the surface. When I was seeding them in the rock wool, I'd put them in here, it would flood and it would push all the rock wool to the surface. So I lowered it a little bit, but now since I'm starting with seeds, the, the seeds will just germinate in there and it's just easier. This whole bed's going to be full of carrots, hopefully, uh, by like March ish. You could see that. Hold on, baby. Uh, you can see these are the lettuce from uh, my last update a week ago. I think it was a week and a half ago So uh, check out my other videos to see the progress that's going on right now, but everything's coming along real good still um, I don't have any problems as of yet this year. It's going really good. Let's come around here And yeah, this is my lower here, table You would see some water coming further down and we'll come there. I think and then we'll come I think down to right here so and right now I'll we'll come over to here and start running right here. It only it's only going a little bit right now, but soon it will be going a lot more. So the water's coming in from the upper table still, flooding down into the lower table. This lower table fills what up. What does this do? This is the bell siphon. It's gonna suck everything completely down to make the table dry. Uh, or not dry, but the rocks are gonna absorb the water. Uh, it drains into there and thanks to editing and all that good stuff. This table is drained right now uh, We had to come back. We forgot yeah. something uh, So you could see all of there's no water in here at all anymore <clears throat> It's all drained out to the bottom So What about the worm? Oh, yeah, I forgot so in this bed if you notice and I step on Gigi in this bed if you notice I had to take those uh, the beans out it was just getting too cold so now there's roots inside of this what you're gonna dig for them what kind of worms red and earthworms red worms and earthworms those are what we're looking for hold on right there don't go too far yet you gotta wait till the end remember so we had to take the bean socks out of here it was just getting too cold um Oh yeah, why? That's what we're going to. The, why am I putting beans in here? Worms. So inside here, I had to pull beans out. All the roots did not come out. The beans left some roots in there. When those roots start to uh, deteriorate, they're all going to go to the bottom of the bed and it's going to suck up all the nutrients. Well, it's just going to make it thicker down there. The plants are going to have be able to grow. So you put the worms in there, the worms are going to eat the crap that the plants leave behind and also puts a different nutrient in the dirt or a uh, uh, and I'm probably gonna help dig. And she's probably gonna help dig, because she loves to dig. So the worms will eat the material left behind of the plants. The worms will leave the material that the plants will eat. Uh, so it's just good. It's good. More nutrients than better. Uh, so and down there, we have a ton of kale, I a can ton see of some lettuce. Water getting right now. You can see some water. Well, I can't see it, but I can feel it. All the rock stays wet. So I'm sticking to the two minute flood stays for every stays. hour right now. We stuck with that. I have right here, you see this red one? Oh, this one? Right here? Yeah, that's a, a Swiss chard. It's a Swiss uh, chard. The, uh, there's a ton of kale. Here's a red, uh, All these the taller red ones. One right here again. No, nope, hold on. Don't no, hold on. Leave it alone. I'm moving the rocks. So there you go. You're fine. There's another one. I have a ton of different colors. Oh you got a purple. Uh, um, that's gonna be a purple kale right there. It's still in the seed. Oh. So another purple kale right there. Another purple kale down there. There's just a oh, ton of colors. Uh, that top, the top table just finished oh, I flooding. Can I can see water. I can see water right now. And it's right still. There. Now it's going a lot better. And they'll actually pick up a little bit higher. And then I can see some water right here over next to the tube. Next to the or bell siphon. Whatever it is. <laughs> this will pick up pretty fast. Right when that switch turns on, still, it's on my last video, but. Uh, did I say what that? 
that's a um, that's a spinach. There's a lot of spinach. All the tall ones are spinaches. So like this one? Yep. That's Don't pull on them. You can take oh, that leaf, leaf out there. <laughs> there you go. And this is the garden from my last year that I planted. Um, I don't take care of it at all, but I might soon start doing so because yeah, these artichokes are doing those, really good. Those kale and right there, these carrots, they... I mean these carrots, these kale, <laughs> the kale right here are doing really good too. Because they used to like too. eat it all because we used to like water it all. The rabbits. So better. let's come over here and we're going to look at the pond. Plants are going really good in here. And you can see the when return pump just, just turned back on, so now I have water coming back into the pond. Um, my plants in here are doing good. My water is pretty clear. One fish. So um, you can see my fish. One fish used to have a disease, I think. We and did get a fish that got um, koi pox, what I think it was. So I just got rid of the fish because yeah. can't like deal with that type pox. of stuff. It's kind um, of like chicken pox. But we it's I did go fish. get some crawdads. So, so there's was it a koi that you threw? Nope, it was a goldfish. So we have crawdads in here and I got some ghost shrimp. I don't know if they're the all gone shrimp. or not, but Alright, thanks for watching today. Uh and don't forget to check out these channels of Three Gritty Kids. Perfect. And like, subscribe to share. share to both of our channels. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching my weekly update. Watch again next week and hopefully we will have appearance from them as well on that video too. But so, like, subscribe, subscribe share, share from three grinning kids. And the aquaponics channel. So <laughs> we'll see you on the next go around. Yeah. Thanks for watching.